welcome back to the channel so as you can tell by the title of this vlog we're doing a little pack with me vlog because i am going to disneyland in just a couple days by the time you're watching this video we will already be back from our trip but expect a lot of disneyland content coming up because it's going to be very exciting and i will be vlogging every day that we're there I haven't really talked about this trip at all, um, even though it's been planned for about a month and a half now, but me and Ethan are going on our very first vacation together, and we are going to Disneyland to do Oogie Boogie Bash, which is Disneyland's Halloween party. I've never been to California before. Ethan has been to Disneyland before, so he's kind of more the expert in this trip and did a lot of the planning. I honestly didn't do much because... We were planning this all in the middle of my move and I had way too much going on to really dive in and focus on it. So I let him kind of take the lead, but he's very excited to take me on this first trip and like see Disneyland through my eyes and me seeing everything for the first time. So I think it's going to be really exciting. We're only there for a couple days. Um, we literally fly out on a Tuesday morning. Uh, we get there by like 10 a.m. California time. We'll do Oogie Boogie Bash that day and do all of California Adventure. And then the next day on the Wednesday, we will do Disneyland. And uh, we can park hop between parks very, very easily. So we could honestly go back to California Adventure if we want to. But that next day on Thursday is when we fly back. So we're really only there for like two or three days. And we've got a lot to do in that time because um, we want to do everything. So it's going to be very exciting and very exhausting. But I'm so excited to see Disneyland for the very first time. But without further ado, let's get to packing and let me show you what I have packed. I'm over packing a bit, I know that because I want to have some options for Oogie Boogie Bash. Obviously, in going to the airport, or I'm gonna be in a basic like workout top and leggings, just want to be super comfortable because it is a five hour flight, which I've never been on a flight for that long, so that's gonna be very interesting. But my outfit for Oogie Boogie Bash, we each have shirts um, that we found online that we kind of liked, so we're gonna be wearing those. My outfit is very simple, but I'm wearing this shirt, which says, did someone say Oogie Boogie? And it's got his face on it. And it's a little like crop top, um, but it's from my friend's small shop um, on Etsy. Her shop is called Mouse Mood. So you can go and check her out there. It's my friend Anastasia's shop. Um, but she makes all these cute little crop tops and I saw her post this and I thought it would be perfect for the event. So I decided to get one. Um, but yeah, you can check her out on Etsy. I'll be wearing this with just some black leggings and then sneakers. And I'm going to try and do some like fun, dark makeup. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair yet. So I'll just have to see. Um, Ethan has, I think his shirt is orange. And I'm not sure if it's Oogie Boogie themed or if it's another like spooky movie theme. Um, I honestly don't remember. So we'll just have to see when we get there um, what his shirt is. That is going to be the first day we're going to be wearing those types of outfits. The next day, we're going with something a little more like fall so we can take some cute fall pictures. So I brought a couple of options because um, I don't know exactly which one I want to wear because I don't know how the temperature is going to feel over there. Um, but I have my maroon, uh, what is this called? Overall dress skirt thing. And I was going to put it with um, a long white sleeve shirt underneath I think could be cool if it's a if it's a little chillier um so that is an option I could also do a very easy like black leggings or um I think I packed jeans so my jeans with this maroon top so and again with the maroon theme or <laughs> I can go with this burnt orange corduroy skirt with I think I have a black um tank top so this would be more if it's like really hot I would probably go with this option um but we will see what I actually choose um and then the next day going home is just like another airport outfit but I did pack a nice fancier outfit in here in case we have time to do like a nice fancy dinner on uh, the Wednesday um so Ethan's gonna pack a fancier outfit too just in case um but I thought it'd be nice to kind of like end the trip with like a nice fancy dinner and get all dressed up and like all that fun stuff. So we'll see. I've got my makeup, uh, curling wand. I've got all of my toiletry items in here. I really tried to pack light, but this thing just gets so crowded. And that's basically clothes. I also obviously had to pack my neck pillow. Even surprisingly doesn't have a neck pillow, which I find interesting because he's traveled a lot over the past years. But 
but yeah, I have this great memory foam pillow. Um, it's linked to my Amazon storefront, so if you want a really nice travel pillow, I highly recommend this because I use this all over tour. Let me show you my uh, um, backpack I'm going to bring. I'm really hoping this is within the size requirements. I just measured it, and it should be fine because it's within the requirements, but I know some airlines get kind of picky with backpacks and like if they count as personal items or not because we each get a free personal item and a free... Or I think we already paid for it ahead of time, but a free um, carry-on bag. Um, but I think worst comes to worst, I can take some stuff out of the backpack and put it in Ethan's carry-on because I don't think his is going to be that full. Um, so worst case, we will make it work. Um, but I'm hoping to not have any issues with these travel plans because I want the day to go as smoothly as possible. Oh, God. All right, it's the backpack I'm bringing. It's my travel backpack. I used it all over tour. And I can't remember if I ever flew this airline on tour. But I used this backpack all over tour and I didn't have a problem. So I think it should be fine. But we got water on the side. Um, I brought a lot of activities because it is a five-hour flight. So we will need to keep ourselves entertained. And although I would love to sleep the whole time, I feel like I'm going to have a very hard time sleeping. Because once I'm up, I'm up. So... Um, I brought some activities along. Um, the one I'm most excited for, we actually found in Target a couple, like, two months ago or something like that, and Ethan bought it for me ahead of time because I said I was going to get it, and then he just got it just in case it like, got sold out or whatever. But, <laughs> is this really cute hidden picture book? <laughs> Which is so random, but it's called the hardest hidden picture book ever, and it's just really fun, and I thought it'd be cool to, like, I don't know. It's like, where's Waldo? You just gotta like find hidden things in the pictures and do all these activities. And I love an activity book. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of this. Um, I also have my Paint by Stickers book that I got in Iowa on tour. Um, I feel like I'm the biggest like kid at heart because this is literally what I pack are like activity books. Um, I have my tablet. Um, so I don't. I don't think I'm going to be doing any editing over this trip, but I brought it just in case I need it. And then I did bring a book as well if I wanted to do some reading. This is the last book in the You Are a Badass series that I haven't read yet. And it's called You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. Highly recommend her books. I've loved every book I've read of hers. Um, but yeah, I'm like halfway through with it. So it'd be nice to like bang out another chunk of that. I've got my camera case because I'm going to be vlogging a ton on this trip so I gotta have all the batteries charged and clear up all the storage and have anything I need for that um I also have hair stuff obviously like wallet feminine products all that jazz um I'm also bringing um the bags I'm going to use in the park this is the main one I'm going to use. It is the new Sling Bag by Corksicle. Um, Ethan got it for me for my birthday, and I'm obsessed with it because it is the perfect theme park bag. It has this um, whole um, compartment to put a full water bottle in, which I love, and then it has a zippered compartment um, to put, like, wallet and all that stuff in there as well. And it just slings across so you don't have to, like, hold anything, which I love. And when I'm vlogging, I'm able to put a whole water bottle in here and stick my camera um, on the tripod in here as well. So it keeps me hands free, which I really love. Um, again, this is from Corksicle. You can get this on their website. Um, but I actually got it um, at the Corksicle stand in Disney Springs because I got a cast discount on it as well. And look at this other thing to think got me for my birthday, which was a little Scooby-Doo keychain, which I thought was so freaking cute. Also bringing a normal crossbody bag, even though I think I'm going to use this the whole time. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it just in case if this is a little easier. And then something that's also very important on our trip is my IDs, um, specifically my cast member ID, which I should get a cast discount in Disneyland, even though I work on Disney World property, because as far as I know, we give discounts to Disneyland cast members here, so it should work the same way. So I'm hoping to get a lot of discounts with my cast ID. I'm trying to pack light, and it's not going too well. Yeah, that's the majority of the stuff I've packed. Um, I am so excited to head to Disneyland and just have a really relaxing vacation, even though we're going to be running around a theme park all day, but <laughs> we have made a pact that we are not going to talk about work while we are at 
while we're on vacation because we are both workaholics we work all the time like six to seven days a week so we really need this vacation before the craziness of the holidays start which i haven't even really told you guys what i'm doing for the holidays but it's very exciting so you can expect that announcement sometime soon because it's gonna be a great holiday season and i'm very excited i think that's everything i'm packing so i'm gonna finish uh closing all these suitcases and getting everything set because i leave in a couple days and i'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching as always make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on the latest content you can also follow me on instagram or tiktok at bgrap100 to stay up to date on the content there and i will see you next week thursday at 6 p.m <laughs> bye